was uh, on my way to Reno and I had to chain up and figures you weren't with me. Yep, of course. Uh, but I did take some video clips on chaining up in the real world. Uh, I chained up with some triples and yep. and um, well, we'll have a look. You know, probably if I do one side at a time, it'll be less likely to get jammed up. That's that one. Yeah, it's the only way you take it off. This one's not tangled at all. Hooks to the outside. Uh, somewhere about the middle. Fold it over. Now they're dual wheels you want to fold them in half and somewhere in the middle you want to drape these chains over the tire over the outside tire first And then take the other half of the chain and drape it over the inside tire. Make sure they're somewhat square, getting an even amount on each side. Then at the front, you're going to stuff it under the front of the tire the best that you can. That one is now ready. Now. for the trailer. Now these just have double bands, but these are wide base chains because I get super single wide base tires on this trailer. They definitely come off a lot easier than the triples. <sighs> Sounded like somebody drove by with a broken chain already.
and again I'm going to do the front axle find about halfway and drape the chain across the tire and stuff the chain under the best I can okay that's step one now the trick is to pull ahead one quarter of a turn I'll get some snow and mark the wheel there you don't want to pull too far ahead if you do that you'll get your chains all tangled up inside your wheels pull over just the right amount and likely you won't end up getting down on your knees okay pulling ahead quarter of a turn Now, the next step is to hook the chains together and attach bungee straps. Oh yeah, see how easy it is to forget your chain cover. So I need now four spider bungees. That's these guys. They are definitely the best way to go. They work better than regular bungees. One, two, three. Okay. His chain sounded good. Like he put them on properly. Okay, now I think we decided. Back one first. In the middle one. Then the outside one. It's going to be too tight. We'll try going in for one link. That's 
that's really weird. I should, I would have thought that would fit better than that. What's the problem here? No, I guess not. Oh well, it ain't going nowhere. Since I got lots of room, I'm going to pull way up. Get these chains snugged up. Then I'm going to go around with the wrench and tighten all the adjusters. And if I still have something loose, I'm going to use a regular bungee strap. but I will if I have to. I cannot stress the importance of good gloves enough. These rubberized winter gloves are exactly what you need. I also like to wear long johns if I'm going to be chaining up. Okay, that one looks pretty good. I'm gonna get two black budgies. So that's it, putting them on. It'll probably be dark when I'm taking them off, so I'm not gonna worry about that this time around. And 
and that took yeah a little over 45 minutes about 47 minutes so that's it we're good to go 35 miles an hour or 60 kilometers an hour I slow down to 25 or or 25 miles an hour or 50 kilometers an hour if I'm going through a tunnel or if I end up on wet pavement so that's it hopefully you learned something and uh, yeah so the big deal yeah. is um, organization right yeah no uh, for one thing having your chains on the racks organized no tangles. so they don't get tangled up yeah. and knowing how to how you put them on there and know how to take them off yes. uh, you can spend an extra 10 minutes just untangling a chain yeah so keep things organized uh, the process too, an organized process first you drape the chain over the tires yeah do each tire now in this case I had to do four drive tires and, two um, trailer tires and two trailer tires now in the past what I what I have done is just standard chains yeah they call them they call them two banders to cover one tire each one does one tire and I do the four outside drive tires and then two trailer tires um, but this year I'm, I'm playing with the triples because it should save time yeah okay and I'll tell you what I have learned about triples um, is that they can they have to be hung properly yeah or they'll they get tangled up way worse than the other ones so rule number one if you're going to use triples make sure you don't hang them wrong so that they get tangled up okay. now the other thing that I found was uh, now you drape the tires and as you saw there you drape the chains over top the tires and with the triples you just fold them in half drape them on top and then lay them over the other side okay now the other thing you noticed after I draped the chains over all the tires I was chaining up then I stuffed the chain under the front of the tires yeah and then as you saw there I marked my tire on the front so that I could roll the truck ahead just a quarter of a turn. Just enough. So that's what I was doing when I marked the tire. Because if you go too far, the chains will all fall in and get it's tangled gonna up and fun. you get a big mess. Yeah. You only want to move it ahead a quarter turn at that point. Yeah, okay. That so sense. then after you've moved it ahead, so step one, you drape the tires, uh, chains over the tires. Yeah. Do all of them. Then step two, pull the truck ahead a quarter of a turn. Then step three is hooking up all the chains. Yeah. Now, whether or not you notice that, I didn't tighten them at that point. What I did in step two, I hooked up the chains and I put my bungees on. Now, yeah. I'm a big fan of these orange um, spider bungees. I find that they just work a lot better. the best. I mean, yeah, you can use, you know, three black bungees, but... These uh, uh, spider bungees just seem to work better. Yeah. So step two, I've hooked up the chains. And what I did find out with the triples, when you're hooking up the chains, yeah. you start from the inside. And then work your way And out. then the middle one. And then the outside Work one. your way out. Hook them up that way. I, I like to be able to do all my chains without getting on the ground. And as you noticed, I didn't have to get on the ground to hook up any of these chains. Yeah, no so um, doing triples I did find it easiest to do the inside one then the middle then the outside one when you're hooking them up okay yeah okay so at that point you don't tighten the little adjusters you just put your bungees on your spider bungees if you've got them yeah okay okay and then you roll the vehicle ahead so step three we haven't tightened the little half moons mm -hmm. no, just yet. put the bungees on we're gonna drive the vehicle ahead uh, at least 10 feet. you got to get a full revolution. Yeah. It, uh, the more, the merrier. I mean, I drove it ahead probably 25 feet. And then what happens is as you're driving, the bungees snug everything up. Yeah, okay. That makes okay? Sense. Then you park, and then you adjust all the half moons. Until it's all tight. Make them tight. Yeah. And then if you still have any loose chain, add an extra bungee, just a black one. Yeah. And right? And it'll be extra secure. Okay, so that makes sense. Yeah, you put it... So after watching the video and me explaining everything, uh, 
Uh, you figure you could do it on your own? I think I could actually, yeah. I think I would have a fair idea of how to do it. I okay. think I could do it. Okay. I'm, so, um, okay. how fast can you drive when you've got chains on? Uh, 60 kilometers an hour, I think. If they're good and tight, yeah. you should be safe up to about 60 kilometers an hour. That's about 35 miles an hour for... 45 is probably if... No, no, 45 is getting a little too fast. No, 45k. If kilometers. Not, not on properly, maybe. If they're not, if they're loose or something. Well, the thing is, you want to have them on properly. If they're not on good and tight, you're going to have broken chains. You're going to get chains Flying, ripping things yeah. apart. Yeah. You know, you'll break your mud flaps. Oh, yeah. Uh, another thing, too, I don't know if I made a big deal of it. When I'm doing the trailer chains... Yeah. I always do the front axle. The only reason is, if the chain does fly off, it's, like it's not going to hit the mud flap. Rip the mud flap off, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so on the trailers, I always do the front axle. Uh, I, I know, you know, you have this automatic um, thinking that you should put them on the back tires on the trailer, and chances are, probably splitting hairs might be a little bit better, yeah. but I, I just put them on the front tires. I don't like taking out mud flaps. Um, the, um, so, that's about it. Yeah, um, if you get good at it, it's not terribly hard, so. No, doing the singles takes me about, uh, it, it, you know, the double banders, yeah. putting six of them on, takes me about 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, I figure after I do uh, use the triples a couple of times, I can probably get that down to about a half an hour. Yeah. If you do it enough times, you get better at it. Yeah. So. Oh, that's the other thing too. If you're on wet pavement, you're going through a tunnel or something, yeah. you want to slow down a little more than that. You want to slow right down to about 25 miles an hour. That's about 40 kilometers. Yeah. I think in the video I said 50 kilometers, but you know, I was yeah. trying to do two things at once. So about 40 kilometers if you're on wet pavement yeah you can good. go right up to 60 kilometers if you're on packed snow like that yeah okay that makes um sense. for our u.s clientele or uh uh they can go um 25 miles an hour on wet pavement okay uh yeah. 35 miles an hour on packed snow but that is with tight chains why slower on wet pavement well, because they're going to bash around a lot. You'll break your chains if you're going too fast on the wet pavement. Okay. Makes sense. Then. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just too hard on the chains. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. So, uh, and that's a good question. Yeah. So, so what do you think? Perfect. Ready for winter? I think, uh, yeah, well, next year, if I yeah. remember it all. But I think I could do it if I had to. I yeah, think I, could train I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And, all uh, right. It's not as scary as people try and say it is, so. No, it's not, and you know, that's another thing about the triples, you know, they're a little easier to get tangled up if they're not hung right. The other thing is, if you're small, um, you might want to stick with the singles, the, the yeah. double banders, because they are a lot lighter, they're yeah. a lot easier to work with. Yes. Uh, it's going to take you a little uh, longer uh, putting six ti uh, chains on instead of four, yeah, like I did, I did four, but I covered six tires. Uh, but it's a lot less work. And that's why I've always done it that way. Uh, the reason why I went to trip, why I've gone to the triples is, you know, if, if you see the logging trucks, they always use triples those and they chain up a lot. Yeah. Those guys are really yeah. good at chaining yeah. up. Yeah. So I figure, you know what? I want my chain up to be as easy as possible, easy and quick as possible. Yeah. So I'm going to learn to use triples because I think that's probably, you know, if it saves you 15 minutes, it saves you 15 minutes, yeah. right? Yeah, it'll save you some driving time. Okay. So I guess that's it. But yeah, that's uh, that's what we wanted to share with you. And uh, yeah, like, yeah, subscribe, be safe, be happy. See you later.